History in the Making. Trinidad and Tobago's candidate for President of the United Nations General Assembly, Dennis Francis, has been successful. Ayanna Carter has the details. Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary and Permanent Representative of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to the United Nations, New York, Dennis Francis, was elected as the 78th President of the UN General Assembly on June 1st in the General Assembly Hall at the United Nations headquarters in New York. This is the first time that a nominee from this country has been elected as President of the UNGA. During his one-year presidency, President-elect Francis will preside over high-level meetings, shape the priorities of the General Assembly, and will play a crucial role in facilitating negotiations among member states. Calling it a weighty responsibility, the President-elect, in his speech, emphasized the influence a sound education had on his career's experiences. Over the 40-odd years of my career as a diplomat, it never once occurred to me that I would find myself sitting as the President of the General Assembly. But as I look back, it was my good fortune to have been schooled by some of the finest, finest and most accomplished diplomats Trinidad and Tobago has ever produced. Mr. Francis expressed what he hoped to achieve as UNDG President. It is my hope to bring forward, with your help and support, a renewed atmosphere of conciliation cooperation and shared commitment in addressing the many challenges and seizing every opportunity, however nascent, before the General Assembly. I will seek to enhance current approaches and adopt new ones with probable solutions as we endeavor to deliver or at least to strengthen the basis for delivering peace, prosperity, progress and sustainability. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley was among those extending congratulations to President-elect Francis, Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs Dr. Amy Brown and their team for the successful campaign which secured the election in TNT's favour. Dr. Rowley said, as a leader among small island developing states, we confidently look forward to a successful conference under the theme of peace, prosperity, progress and sustainability. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.